In today's episode, I sit down with Angel and Lex and I ask the million dollar question. What would we be doing right now if we weren't deselling? So you'll hear some interesting stories between the three of us. And if you are running a mobile detailing business right now or any detailing business, whether you're shop based or mobile based, then I highly recommend you check out Jobber. We've been using Jobber in our business now for the last four years to basically run our entire operations from scheduling jobs, from keeping track of customers' information to employees clocking in and out to sending appointment reminders. We run everything through Jobber. If you want to get a free 14-day trial plus a special discount, click the link down in the show notes or if you're watching this on YouTube, check the description box down below. Other than that, let's get started with this fun episode. Welcome back to the Detailing Business Class Podcast, where you'll learn proven tactics and strategies on sales, marketing, and operations to grow your business. I'm your host, Oscar Gill, and my goal is to elevate you as a detailer and business owner to the next level. Okay, so today's going to be an interesting topic. We are going to talk about what we would all be doing if we weren't actually detailing. Um, I've been detailing now for the past 12 years. Angel's been detailing for a strong two years. Lex has been going for seven years. So mm-hmm. it's going to be kind of interesting to see what we think we would be. Also, if you notice, we are on a different podcast setup now. We've changed locations. Still the same shop, but we've changed locations. So the audio might sound a little different. Um, so uh, who wants to go first with who would? How do you have to? I'll go, go first. I'll okay. go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, so yeah. And, and, like, and there's no context. Like whatever you think you'd yeah. be doing like because obviously it's like a different timeline right like yeah what, what would like, another lex be doing you know so it, it's all assumptions it's all what is it's all like what could be going on yeah so you can tell him just thinking about what he, what he needs yeah. to say no i had i had to think about it too because honestly i, I did I, not I, know i was i was hopping like before before i did any kind of detailing i was just hopping around a few jobs different fields not really liking anything um and hey, i give it, real quick where did you work around? Uh, you work? What were your jobs? Uh, so I had not involving anything with washing a car. I had uh, worked at Krispy Kreme. Nice. Yeah. The the when they first opened the the first location again okay. in Houston. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think they were, OG Pioneer. Yeah. yeah I, was, cool. I was there when they were open 24, 24 seven for like a whole week or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, well, that sucked. And I had uh, worked at FedEx. So with FedEx. Uh, I hated that job. Yeah. They had me, the littlest guy, loading those 18 wheelers, mm-hmm. yeah. like from the very bottom to the very top, front to the very back, four hours. I think it was only four hours a day, but those four hours were right. nonstop, crazy. hard, mm-hmm. crazy four yeah. hours. No AC, you know, peak summertime. Those those trailers sound, are really hot. It sounds like you're detailing. Okay, Almost. Basically. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Um, <laughs> that sucked. I did not like that. But um, yeah, I remember before detailing, I had uh, trouble just trying to find out what I what I liked. So with that question of what would I be doing if I wasn't detailing, it's kind of hard for me. Um, but I do remember I had a, a, a great or a good job opportunity out of Texas, which was in Kansas. My brother works up in Kansas and he works for a, a oil company. Um, and I, I remember he had mentioned like, hey, come over here work with me, you can stay at my house, you know, good pay, all this already, job secured and everything. And I was like, man, but I don't want to leave my city. Like, I, I yeah. like the city. I like Houston, you yeah. know, and everything. Yeah. So if I wasn't detailing, I I do strongly believe I would, I probably wouldn't be in Houston. I would probably be over there. Working the oil working, field. Working in the oil doing field, something, doing whatever. something with, with well, over there is trains. They do a lot of uh, fill up trains and stuff. So probably yeah. around that, that, uh, industry yeah so not working yeah. on cars but i do have a love for cars and i've always liked them so i don't know how that would play out over there because yeah. over there you, you i cannot drive my car over there yeah i'm yeah. take it and th- you go over there there's no cars like that there's no car scene there's no cool cars like that it's all trucks and yeah. trailers yeah so yeah, I don't know. yeah yeah and it's, again like this is like for anyone that keeps over like marvel or dc and the uh, uh, uh alternate timelines alternate alternate uh, dimensions alternate yeah. like it could be anything, you know, yeah, like, yeah. like maybe, are you, you hate your job, you hate your life, you love your job, you love your life. It's like, who, who would know? Yeah, yeah, so it's yeah. kind of, yeah, it's kind of crazy to think like what, 
Like yeah, my, my car hobby would probably die down if I go over there. Yeah? Because there's no, you cannot work yeah, on your car over there. Nope. Yeah. Mm-mm. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. there. I mean, Where'd you, you could probably have your car. Kansas. Or, Kansas? Kansas, yeah. There's like nothing there. Well, mm. at least in that town. I know they have Kansas City. That's a, that's a city, yeah. of course. But, uh, but, I mean, dude. It's very, uh, Texas. what do you call it when it's just feels rural? Or rural, 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 yeah. Yeah. Rural, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, it's cool, though. It's peaceful. Angel. It's cool. You can see the stars. Uh, mine is uh for context angel is 20 years old right now so mm. th- in any timeline he's in he's only had so much experience like yeah there's not that many timelines for his uh life yet because they're yeah. he's still very young like um <laughs> he hasn't had that many the decisions to be made in his life yet the although as young as i am though um i've noticed that when i hang out with people my age for sure uh, a lot of them are like have not done a lot of the yeah, stuff for sure. that I have done. You're a lot more squared away than your typical 20-year-old. Um, but I think for me, uh, so I used to be a bartender. I think we mentioned that before. Uh, and I worked at that restaurant for about five years, four, three or four years. Yeah. Um, I started working there when I was 14 in high school. Uh, and I was a busboy. I was a waiter. And then eventually became a bartender. Uh, on my 18th birthday, uh, right before I graduated high school. Uh, and at that time, uh, at that time, it was dope. I really enjoyed it. Like, when I first became a bartender, it was dope. Uh, at that time, it was like, man, I got to be around alcohol. Uh, <laughs> I learned <laughs> Not how to even drink well, it. Yeah, I'm around it. I'm just around uh, it, yeah. Well, yeah, no, I never drink. Um, mm-hmm. I got to l- learn how to make a lot of cool drinks. Uh, I, met yeah. a, I met a lot of cool people at the bar. Actually, I got a... A lot of job opportunities from being yeah, a bartender. That's true. Yeah, you get plugged in. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I got a lot of internship opportunities. One, I actually was going to go through, but unfortunately, uh, the gentleman passed away. But uh, RIP. RIP to him. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so I met a lot of people uh, through bartending. Uh, I thought that uh, that internship opportunity was going to go through. Uh, and then also I started college right after mm. I finished high school. Yeah, so, did, huh? so this is all, this is all relevant. This is all literally right before I started my detailing business. Yeah. So I was bartending for like a year and then I was in college. So assuming that I never started my detailing business, I think right now I would be bartending full time yeah. and being a full time college student. Yeah, and the way that you've also developed, I, I could like a, a possibility would be like you start doing private bartending, like because yeah. like you, you like something was going to scratch that business itch of like I want to do something. Well, mm-hmm. okay, so that's also good to mention is because I always knew I wanted to be an entrepreneur. Um, I always knew that that was my major in college, <laughs> entrepreneurship. Yeah. Literally, um, yes. it's a relatively nice. uh, new major. Um, but honestly, um. I think that's what I'd be doing, but I don't think I'd be happy. With, with bartending? No. Because, uh, dude, when I left it, it was like I was running from that. I no longer wanted mm. to do that. It mm. all like late hours and all that? So. It was it was a very, 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 very depressing cycle. Yeah, Just yeah. going to work, t- 10 hour shifts every day, every day, every day, and then school work. It was, yeah. it was, not only was it depressing, it was draining, it was stressful, like, that one year or one and a half year of bartending and being a full-time college student was probably, that was not it. Yeah. Um, that was not it. Yeah. I thought I have a, when I go to a few bars, um, and I talk to the bartender, like, cause we know, you know, they get to know you over time. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. And, uh, yeah, he, uh, he says all the time, like, yeah, like, especially on the weekends, like most of those bartenders end up just being drunk at the end of the day because people buy shots and you don't want to kill the mood and yeah. whatever, whatever. So it's like a lot of us still like, they, like you can tell like he drinks a lot still. He, and, and maybe he wouldn't have if yeah. he didn't have the, op, like the, the, the opportunities given to him. Yeah. But it's oh. like, oh, we're there. That's a good vibe. And then once you're in three, four, it's like, well, now you just keep on going. And, but that is, yeah. yeah, but that is super true though, that I've heard that uh, a lot of people do mention that bartenders are really rude. I don't know why that it, it could be like a thing. It's like a bartender, like thing. at work or after work. After at, at work, uh, I've noticed that too. There was times where some clients would really, really, really push mm. it. Mm. Um, obviously, I never, uh, never did anything out of the ordinary to like you know disrespect someone. 
but I definitely have put clients in their place or cut people off or like not had yeah, to do for it. sure. But I mean, for me, it was like, damn, like that time was just really like, I mean, I'm glad that I did it. I learned a lot from it, but um, yeah, I think that's what I'd be doing. Full-time bartender and full-time college student. Nice. Okay. So for me, I think, hmm, yeah, if it wasn't for a decent, I think I would have ended up because at the time I, I did like cars as well. Like that's what also got me into like detailing was like trying to take care of my own vehicle. And like I was working two minimum wage jobs, but like full time, both jobs so I could save money to buy car parts. So I remember like we're like working little minimum mm. wage and I was like yeah. saving every check to get some wheels or suspension or, uh, uh, yeah, I, I bought coil levers, wheels, tires. Um, I bought like an intake, I think, I think I did some interior work to it. Like, you know, nice. like every check is like you save every single penny. Oh. Don't do nothing just to get purchased oh. something. So I was always into cars. And the cool thing is like at that point, because when you when you get into cars, you start learning about everything. Like, oh, so like I could do the, the mechanical side, right? Like, so like if, if I would have, I didn't install my own coil levers. I had my cousin do it. But like that could have been something that got me super interested. And maybe that would have led me to like, oh, I want to start a performance slash mechan- mechanic business, right? Or mm. there was some spots on my on my hood that were uh, pe- like uh the clear coat was, was peeling and uh, I was like, Oh, let me try to fix that. I could have like, Oh, I like painting now. Let me go into like body yeah. collision. Right. Or I, uh, I, I paid someone to do it, but they did a terrible job. Then I did some of it, uh, reupholstering the, um, the interior, uh, on the plastic, like the beat, the A pillars, the B pillars, the, uh-huh. I, um, um, put some, um, plaid upholstery on there. Yeah. And that was a thing for a while, but wait, like in 2011, 2012, <laughs> um, and that, that could have been a thing of like, oh, this is actually cool. Let me see if someone else wants their interior reupholstered, right? Yeah, yeah. So like, at, like it, it's like back then, like there was, I was like in this circle and like there was always like avenues of like, which way do you want to go? And I just happened mm. to choose detailing, right? But like you could have literally gone to any outlet and that would have completely changed everything. Yeah. So yeah. I, I think yeah. for sure for me, I, I for a fact, like either I would have definitely chose something, like something would have led me to something car related. If not that, Probably like landscaping or something like because I, 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 I was used to like just working out and like working on my hands and mm. um, I definitely didn't want to be indoors in like accounting or like that just never crossed my mind at all. Yeah. Even though I went to college to be a history, a history teacher to teach high school. Uh, but but that, oh. that yeah, but that that what is that? I dropped out at this at the second semester. So that could have been a thing. Uh, if not that probably like go work at a company and just work my way up as best as I can. Because even yeah. at the, uh, at the car, at the commercial carpet cleaning company that I worked at, I started off as the tech. And then three months I went to, um, I worked in the warehouse. And then three months after that, I worked in the office as a scheduler. So I, I think like that was a quote because like, I, I would have kept on doing that. Like give me a few more months. Let me be like, uh, uh something operations manager. And after that, mm-hmm. let me go and be, so I, I like, and I, I'm still like very fond of like, that's probably a big thing too of like, I'd like to go to like a bigger company, like back then I'd go to a bigger company and like, I wouldn't mind working, like being, yeah. being in control of like a big team or, or, or like running oh, a department. Okay. Like that, Cause that's, that's essentially still running. Like what I do here with the business, I, it's basic for the almost, for the most part, if you're in the right company, like you do the same stuff just in a department yeah. instead of an entire company, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, so that, that's something that, yeah. that, that, that I would have probably like maneuvered my way into for sure. Probably. Um, yeah. You mentioned that that I didn't even think that that probably could have been my path to at the restaurant. Like keep on work, working your way up. I mean, at, at that point, I knew how to do everything except the kitchen. Yeah. Oh, like like run it. Like yeah. yeah. Like uh, whatever mm. it's called, restaurant manager. Yeah. Manager, manager. But yeah, dude. At that time, I was I was done with the restaurant industry. Yeah, and that's the scary part because like again, like you really don't. Who's to say that? you would actually have a better life if you didn't get into detailing, right? Like, who, oh, like you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, there, yeah. there, there's like endless possibilities of what could have actually like happened. You know, like there's- kind of scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One thing I always think about is my car. Like, cause I started off with a Matrix XRS and I was like, if I would've got like a Civic SI or like a Chevy Silverado, like the group of people <laughs> oh, I would've yeah. hung out with would've been so different yeah. that like that would've also changed the trajectory of like what I do. Because yeah. like, imagine if I got like a, some, you know, some truck that I'm just <laughs> around with a bunch of, <laughs> Watch yeah, it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. like your life changes. Different because, scene. Because, yeah. yeah, different team, different people, different activities, different like. So all the little things yeah. like make a big difference. Yeah. Um, but do you think, okay, I didn't, this is off the cuff here, but like, do you see yourself doing detailing or or within the, within the vicinity of detailing? So not maybe the specific detailing, but like, do you see yourself doing this for the next 10, 20 years? 
Like when I say detailing, I mean that could be like vinyl. That could be something. Something, something within the yeah, something, yeah, something within, the, within the automotive detailing. Automotive restyling conditions. I can because I love cars. I've always wanted to do something around cars. So yeah, I can. Anything around cars. Yeah, uh, except mechanical work. I don't like that. But uh, but yeah. like what? Mechanical work? No, 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 no. I'm saying like, what, what else would you have to do? Oh, then? anything like anything car related. So as far as cleaning, designing, uh, cosmetic, changing up the look, so like vinyl. changing out wheels or <laughs> yeah, vinyl. Uh, you like what else? Like PPF. Ah. Like, <laughs> uh, like detailing. <laughs> like, what, what about uh, you? Uh, driving, yeah. driving them. Yeah. Drifting. I want to get drifting. into drifting. Yeah, that cool hobby. Like that. Yeah. Drag racing. Yeah. That, yeah. Angel. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I I'd say I'd say for sure. Um, uh, yeah. Vinyl wrapping. You can see yourself yes. like being in that in that. Uh, Again, I, I don't mean necessarily like you're like you're the technician for the next 10, 20 years. But I'm saying like yeah. you're within the space. Whether you have a team, whether it's your own, it's like you see yourself doing that for the next 10, 20 years. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. I mean, um, everything that comes with it is is good. Yeah. Um, it's cool. Uh, obviously, we're still like in the very beginning of it. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, man, they, I I have like a pretty big vision for something like that. Yeah, I could see myself not doing it like labor wise, but like managing, wise, but running, yeah, for sure, department, yeah, of it, yeah, and teams and everything, yeah, for sure, yeah, yeah. no, absolutely, yeah, really cool, yeah. Yeah, like I said, I mean. Yeah, there's there's opportunity. If you know what you're doing, there's opportunity and everything. Yeah, same thing with me. Like it's kind of crazy because I'm already at my decade. Like I'm already going to the second yeah. decade part of the of the. But even with me, like now that we have the, we're gonna launch a product mm. line. Even now that we're offering vinyl, like I see myself doing it for another, just at, at a way different capacity, right? But like, yeah, yeah, same thing. Like, and that's my hope for for us is like over the next ten years, like we're all not just technicians anymore at that point, right? Like. Yeah, we're yeah. all running a team where it's like you know what I'm saying like it, it like this is it's like a much a, bigger organization. Yeah, like yeah. like yeah, like I don't see all of us doing the same thing. What we're doing two right years now. from now, yeah, like that, like no, like that's not how it should be. Yeah, hundred percent. So yeah, so just at a bigger capacity, bigger capacity, just not me or us doing the technical work because at that point, like we have so many years of experience, like it would, we need to hire people when they're still, you know, like yeah. it's a different operation and at that point. We're not, like we haven't even like scratched. We haven't even like we've dabbled. A little bit with content creation for this type of uh, yeah. work, and there's that, there's there's still so much possible. There's that, still so much opportunity. Yeah, that in it of itself is a there, whole there, other yeah. like world. Yeah, of like, you can make it big in that, and yeah, you yeah, can yeah. offer the service. And it's yeah, just, there yeah. there's so much opportunity. There's like so much opportunity. Um, but okay, we'll there's, wrap it right here. Do you want to add anything at all? I think we're good. All right, good. sounds good, everybody. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. We'll talk to you on the next one. Bye bye. Adiós.